Hello and welcome back to Football Index Moneyball. For today's pick of the day, we have the second video in the collaboration with Tom from FI Club. Tom's going to be giving an intro to the player, then I'll finish the video with my usual analysis on his stats and profit targets. If you enjoy the video and you're interested in taking a look at Football Index Club or signing up, then there's a referral link in the description and for this and every video. And if you use the promo code MONEYBALL50, you'll get 50% off the first month. So that's MONEYBALL50 with a capital M. Before we get going, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to follow me on Twitter, then you can search for at Index Moneyball. So Tom, welcome to the video. Uh, back for your second instalment in the pick of the day. Hi Kevin, yeah, thanks for having me on again. Uh, it's a pleasure to be on your YouTube channel. Yeah, good, good to have you here, mate. Um, who have you got for us today? And before we get going again, maybe if people missed the first video, just give us another overview of the site and... I know there's been a lot of changes you made recently. I can see straight away. Yeah, cheers. So uh, I've been working on it a lot, especially with uh, COVID-19, but I usually work on it full-time anyway. But yeah, there's quite a lot that you can do with Football Index Club. So basically, you have access to the trading blogs where you will find various blogs on selling, uh, market trends, and just various strategies that I use to make good returns on Football Index. Uh, market beating returns in fact and there's also many players which are highlighted throughout these blogs and they're highlighted as potentially valuable players so I basically spend all my time researching to try and find players which I do think could be good value so a couple of examples from the last blog we've got Ferrin Torres who is the pick of the day here he was a £2.78 and also Oscar Rodriguez both these players have already risen huge amounts since being highlighted on the site just last Friday so just two days since they're both up over 5%. I think Oscar Rodriguez is up over 10 or 15% already. Um, and yeah, Ferran Torres here is the pick of the day. But before I get into him, I just want to quickly show you some other aspects of the site. If that's all right. So we've got highlighted players and you can click into latest highlighted players. There's a full table and there's a player reviews database. And in this player reviews database, what you will find is basically over 300 player reviews. And these are all submissions made by my customers of Football Index Club. They can just put in a submission up here and then I will analyze that player. So if we click into Torres, for example, because he was a recent highlighted player, um, potential rating of 88 and there is a formula which I use to find those FIC and potential ratings and that's all on the site as well. But here is the play review. So you can comment on all of the play reviews too. And the reason that he's my pick of the day, um, should I get into that now? Yeah, go for it, mate. Yeah, cheers. So basically, Ferran Torres has been a very promising player for Valencia. And I think with La Liga returning in just a few weeks' time now, he could have a significant rise. He's already started to gently rise since I highlighted him last Friday from at £2.78. He's already up to £2.91 now, but I do think there's more room in him. And I suppose with... Havertz rising such a huge amount, Haaland rising, and um, another player who has got transfer speculation in him, it's particularly young and is possibly an elite youth talent, I would say. I'd probably put him in that uh, category. Um, he's up there anyway. I think Perrin Torres could rise a huge amount if he does get a few goals or assists on his return. I think the biggest downside with him at the minute is his PB scores. As you can see, his, high, uh, his highest PB score, 190, it's not the best. His peak PB scores certainly need some work here. But if he can improve these peak PB scores over his time at Valencia and at a, probably a best team, he's been linked to Liverpool, Chelsea and some other really strong sides. If he can improve those peak PB scores, I think he could rise a huge amount. He's been getting the goals and assists. He just needs to add a little bit more to his game. And then if his PB scores improve, I'm sure his price will increase a huge amount. And so... He's the pick of the day, and my target price for him is to get to a 100% increase on his £2.91 price over the next 12 months. Um, and I think that's possible, so we'll see what happens with him. Yeah, so you went through your reasons there. Um, I know you've actually recommended him a few times on the site, so what, what, how much did you recommend him at originally? Yeah, great question, and that can really show uh, the usefulness of Football Index Club because I first highlighted him actually at £1.27. This was back in October. In fact, you can see Francisco Trinca was here at 91p as well. Um, but yeah, so first at £1.27 and then in November, he was a January transfer window hold. He was there at just £1.38 in 
uh, November. And then again in December at 1.81. In fact, you can see Alfonso Davis was there as well at 1.87 back in December. So huge rises in both those two players. And then the latest one here is Ferrin Torres at £2.78. And he's actually been highlighted on the site more than any other player. And this link here just takes you to that player profile, which I just showed. And within all of these player blogs as well, there are the pros and cons, because I don't actually personally hold all these players myself. We're just players who come up from my extensive research, who I think could be good picks. And I try and offer some balanced analysis, but overall they are players which I think are most likely to rise in price, whether that's due to a market trend or just representing good value based on their potential match day and dividend returns over a longer period of time. And the results are all very successful. They are all on the site and anyone can see those results. You don't have to be a member to check them out. They are here. So you'll see that the results have been beating the market very consistently since last September. Back in September, there was a rise of 23.95% after just 30 days, which was the best rise uh, Football Index Club has had. But we've seen really good rises since. Very good, mate. Yeah, so if anyone who hasn't got the time to be doing the research themselves, as you said, you, you do it full time. So it's a good option for them to try and get into some players they might not have heard of and to get some reliable information with a lot of research behind it. So, Yeah, that's it. And I can't be sure that the results will be so good every single month. Um, I am quite confident in them because I do spend so much time on it. But I think for new traders in particular, they can maybe get a lot of um, advanced, um, experienced advice because I'm always very happy to just support traders with messages and doing those play reviews, as I've shown. Um, but also very seasoned traders who have been on for months. I've got some members of the site with huge portfolios and they're very happy just getting that extra insight and saving them hours and hours of time researching. So it's good for any traders really. And the price is £9.99. But um, any listeners to your YouTube video, any viewers um, can also get your uh, exclusive discount of 50% using your discount code MONEYBALL50 with a capital M, um, which I'm sure you'll probably feature in this video at some point as well. Yeah, I, uh, I put a reminder on the intro and I'll do another at the end with that bonus code. And just to let everyone else know as well, um, we did just record for the Football Index Club Daily Podcast number 145. So if you haven't listened to any of the Football Index Daily Podcasts yet, maybe go check that one out. We talked about our thoughts on the matching engine after a day or two of it being live. And um, yeah, so if you're interested, go go look that up. Where can they find that, Tom? Um, so that's everywhere. Um, I've got on Twitter, there's FI Daily Podcast, so you'll find me sharing it. But it's also on Spotify, iTunes. Just type in the Football Index Club Daily Podcast and uh, you'll find it anywhere that's possible to listen to a podcast, I believe. Awesome. So from here, I'll uh, I'll take over the video and I'll start doing some analysis on Ferran Torres. But thanks very much for coming on and giving us another pick. And if anyone hasn't listened to the pod podcast or checked out the website, then make sure you go do that. And if you do listen to the podcast, give them a rate and a review. Thanks very much, Tom. Yeah, thanks for having me on. I really appreciate the opportunity just to show the website a little bit. It's still kind of in the early stages, but hopefully it will improve in the future. And if anyone listening does have any questions, then just get in touch. I think there's a contact form on the website somewhere. Uh, if you get to contact, then you can get in touch and I'll be happy to help. Or Twitter as well. What's your Twitter, Twitter handle? Yeah, sorry about that. No, it's at the Index Club. It's definitely at the Index Club. So check that out. Sounds good. All right, cheers, mate. So now to start off with the review of Ferran Torres here on Transfer Marked. And we can see, first of all, that he's picked up a few trophies already with the Spanish Cup for Valencia and also the under-17s and under-19 European Championships with Spain. We can also see that he's a member of the under-21 squad, currently with six appearances and no goals so far. But it looks like he's definitely had a lot of success in the youth systems for Spain. And I know there's expectations he'll be making a step up to the senior side in the not-too-distant future. For his career stats, he's played 100 games, scoring 10 goals and managing 16 assists, which comes to a combined total of 0.42 per 90. 35 of those appearances, 6 goals and 7 assists have come this season, so he's definitely shown some signs of his game developing further before the halt in football. For his positional stats, Ferran has played the majority of his games on the right wing, but he also featured on the left wing and even has a couple of appearances up front, on the left and right of midfield. So there's an element of versatility, which is a good thing considering a big part of his value has to be seen in the expectation that he's going to be getting a big transfer. There's been a lot of links to Chelsea in the past, and recently I've seen links to Liverpool and also to Real Madrid. 
Ideally, we'd be hoping for a move to the Prem, I think, in order to maximise their potential return. But I think that any major move would have a big benefit to his potential for PB and his price. There's actually recently been some news around him refusing to sign a new contract to Valencia. So with just over a year left on his contract, he could well be making that big move this summer. On this table, I've compiled all of Torres' PB eligible game stats for the last three seasons from when he broke into the first team at Valencia at 17 years of age and became the first player born after 2000 to feature in a La Liga game. So looking down the numbers, there's some very promising stats. The first being that at just over 20 years old, he's already got 3,776 minutes of elite level football under his belt. Then to go with that, he has a very respectable goals and assists tally of 0.19 per 90 each which brings him slightly below his career average overall. He has 1.3 key passes and two complete dribbles per game, which is fantastic for a young player, and although nothing extraordinary, his defensive stats of 0.9 successful tackles, 0.5 clearances, and 0.7 interceptions per 90 will help him for his PB potential. The major downside that I see in these numbers is his 29 passes per game. It's gonna to be tough for him to win PB without being a bit more involved in play, but as with all young players, you can expect him to improve over time with this number. If we focus only on his stats from this season, you can see already that he's been showing some improvements with increasing in almost all of his key stats. But again, his passing stats are very low at just over 27 per 90, which is the only real blotch on these impressive numbers. From a profit target analysis, I had to use some 21 year olds here as Torres is actually the third most expensive 20 year old midfielder on the index behind Sancho and Herberts. For my comparable purchase options, I use Sandro Tonali and Nicola Zaniolo. I think with the amount these three players are playing for their respective teams and the potential all three are showing, these are pretty good comparisons. Tonali, although he's a fantastic player and is on the ball much more than Torres due to him playing in the centre and a lot deeper, I think that with Torres having the better goal and assist record, I would agree that he's probably the better of the two for the money here. I also think that Torres has much more chance of moving to the Prem than the other two as I think Tonali is more likely to stay in Italy and Zanolo has a torn ACL so he might spend another year in Rome. For Zanolo, had he not been injured I would have said that he is better probably for the price but as I mentioned his ACL tear could possibly ruin his opportunities of a move this summer and also with La Liga coming back sooner than Serie A I think that Torres looks a good pick for the price out of the three of these. My low and mid price targets are both 21 but I think in terms of the potential they're showing to both be elite class players which is also the bracket I would put Torres in. I think they work well as comparisons. I think a young player can improve a lot with experience from age 20 to 21. And I would say that both OR and Odegaard are better players than Torres right now. But I think with the market growth and an expiring contract that's likely gonna to lead to a lot of transfer speculation this summer, and more likely a big move at the end of it, I would see these prices as being attainable for him. Then for my high target, I went for the man of the moment, Kai Averts, with two goals in each of his last two games, back after the restart of the Bundesliga. All signs are pointing to a big transfer this summer, and Havertz's price has risen 20% in the last 10 days, and 120% this year. I think this is the marker that you want to look at for Torres, if he can continue his good form for the rest of the season, ideally with picking up a couple of PB wins, or maybe one PB win, then he should be able to close the gap on him in the short term a little bit. If he gets a move to the Prem on top of that and maintains his good form and manages to get a few PB wins next year, then I think this should be an achievable top end price in the next 12 months, provided there's some market growth and possibly even a dividend increase. So that leaves us with profit targets of 7% for the low, 53% for the mid and 136% for the high. I think this has been a really interesting pick to analyze as those of you who've watched the channel for a while will know that this is not the type of player I'd usually be considering. But having done the analysis, there certainly seems to be some positive signs for Torres to have 100% profit potential in the next 12 months. And having been a member of FI Club for a few months now, I wouldn't be quick to bet against one of Tom's picks. So that's all I have for you today. Just as a reminder, if you want to check out Football Index Club, then you can sign up through the link in the description of the video. And if you use the code MONEYBALL50 with a capital M when signing up, you'll get 50% off your first month and you'll also be helping to support the channel. Thanks for watching and good luck on the index.